Hej, hej! Nu är ni tre i alla fall. Se om några mer trillar in snart kanske. Hej hej! Ja, nu är vi ju ett ganska bra gäng här. Så jag hoppar väl över till engelska, ja. So, we are doing an owl today. This is a buffed tip. Prepared and ready. And this is the beautiful nail art palette that I'm using today. And I'm gonna use the flat surface. It's better. I am going to use the Selena signature nail art brushes. Shorty, swirly and block. And I'm starting with block. Hey, Mama. So I'm going to mix this with cleanser. And you should know that cleanser messes up brushes. So have two of these. And only use one of them for cleanser stuff. So I'm starting off with just Dabbing this all over the nail. It's not supposed to be perfect. So just make sure it gets all over the surface. It's going to be the base for the owl, but I'm sure you knew that. <laughs> so something like that. And I'm going to cure it. Are there all Swedes here or? Do we have someone from another country? <laughs> Tack, Mia. <laughs> so now we have a base. Now I'm going to just decide where to put the eyes, just so we have something to go on. And I am super nervous, so I'm shaking. <laughs> 
But if I can do this shaking, all of you will be able to do this. And this was shorty. So it looks like this. You can use a dotting tool too, if you're more comfortable with that. We are gonna make this better later on. This is just something to guide us on. So now I'm adding the bird's beak and I put it right between the eyes and just go down like this. Netherlands. <laughs> so just something like this. As I said, we're going to add some details later on top. This is just guiding us. So I'm going to cure that. Thank you. I love green nails and of course I love crystals. I did some chatons this time. I love them. I was going to do the bigger ones but uh, <laughs> my nails are too slim. <laughs> they didn't fit. So now I am going to highlight this, some parts of it. So I'm grabbing some white gel paint. And just start from the top of the beak and work your way up here. Like it's an eyebrow or something, or something. Like an angry eyebrow, angry unibrow. And we do not want perfection. It's supposed to be feathers. Something like that. Yes, I love green nails. We need more green nails in the world. So now from the bottom of the beak, just do the same thing, but with a slight arch to it. I'm going to try to zoom in more. Okay. 
and now it looks like this. I kind of just frame the face, but all the details come on top of everything later. So this is still the base. And this would be like the stomach of the bird, I guess. So we're just going to do some speckles. Thank you, Liga. And then some black. Just to like frame the whole nail. And you can add some speckles here and there. It's going to add some dimension to it. It's not going to look flat and boring. Hi, Linda from Australia. So just frame the whole nail, like shadowing the edges of, the, of it, but with speckles. No perfect fades here. So now it looks like this. And I'm going to cure that. The great thing about using uh, gel paints is that it's so highly pigmented. I don't need to cure it all the time. I can go from surface to surface and just cure it whenever I want to. Thank you, Lisa. And I'm also adding some shadows around the eyes. This is why it wasn't important to do it perfectly the first time. So we're going to do that later. If I'm not shaking too much. Just speckle it a bit. Maybe some white speckles on the like forehead or whatever. <laughs> I am using gel paints from Light Elegance. And the tip holder is really beautiful. It's from the uh, April box from Moonflare. I love it. It's steady and gorgeous. So the base is done. I am going to put a matte top coat on and then add some details after because these gel paints cure shiny without a sticky layer. So you can put them on top and it will make everything just pop.
Thank you, Natalie. So I'm curing that for 60 seconds. And these are mixed crystals. I love mixing them up. And I love making it like symmetrical. I don't know some of the girls in the Moonflower content crew, they are really good with just putting them on wherever. But I am not good with that. I am good with symmetrical. So that's my thing. Oops. Cleanser all over. I'm hoping this will be matte. And it is. Yay! <laughs> so, the details. <laughs> That's what we have swirly for. I love swirly. It's my best brush. I use it every day. So now I'm just gonna frame the eyes first. And this will really make it pop since this will be shiny and on top of the nail. Thank you, Helena. And framing the beak. The brush, you can get it at Moonflare's web shop. And this is swirly. It's uh, Selena's signature nail art brushes. I'm using them throughout the whole design. And just a little in the middle. And same here. I'm going to give it some color too. It's not supposed to be black eyed. Now I'm curing that. gonna close some of my bottles here and my jars so this is what it looks like now you can see that you see more details in whatever I put on top of the matte nail that's the whole purpose. So 
so now I'm adding some white and this is the favorite part for me the whites in everything in flowers in this in whatever the white makes it all So just do some lines in the eyebrow <laughs> section. The angry unibrow. Maybe that's what we'll name him. Angry unibrow. I just used a matte top coat to make it matte. And this top coat makes it really matte. It's a no-name brand I got from the United States. If you have one that doesn't cure quite as matte as you want it, you just use a foam buffer afterwards. So, this is what the eyebrows look now. And now around the eyes. It will really make them come to life. Just around the whole eye section, thin, thin lines. And the other eye. And remember to breathe. That's something like that. And just a tiny line here on the beak. And I'm curing that. I don't really need to cure it because I'm not going to overlap, but I'm doing like freezing it anyway. Yes, I always hold my breath. I have to say to the client, now we breathe in between. I'm just going to add some lines here as well. To this fluffy part. Farmor, det är farmor här också. I'm going with orange for the eyes. 
but uh, I googled some picture of owls before I did this and they were more yellow but I thought orange popped more and you can do it however you like you can do it green perhaps a little too much here. That's what I love about the gel. Just remove whatever you don't want there. So this is what it looks like now. I'm just going to do a tiny, tiny white dot in the eyes. Tiny. And I'm going to cure that. Yes, I want to see a lot of owls out there from now on. I think it would be cool to see it in other colors as well. It doesn't have to be brown. So here we have Mr. Angry Unibrow. And I'm also going to show you my first owl that I did. Kind of looks the same. How it can look in a set. This is my red iguana hand. I love her. She's my best client. You should really invest in a hand like this. I'm just going to put it right here. I also have... I had to practice this week, so I really knew what I was going to do. So I did one with uh, some rose gold crystals as well but I like it more clean and add tons of crystals to another nail. So three owls, the same way. Still they have their own personalities. I love them. So I'm hoping you will try this and tag me and tag Moonflare so we can find you. And this is me, my social media. Hard for you outside of Sweden to know what this means. This means Malin's nail art. So that's it for me for now, and I hope you have enjoyed this, and that I will see you next time. <laughs> bye bye!